Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the greatest common factor of three numbers. And really, this is going to be the same exact thing we do for two numbers. We just have an extra number, so we have three numbers. Remember, factors are the numbers that can be multiplied to equal a given number or numbers a given number can be divided by evenly, so divided with no remainder. Now, it's not the most technical or mathematical way to word it, but you can think of factors as the numbers that go into the given number. Now, when it comes to the greatest common factor, that's going to be the greatest factor in value that all the numbers share, that all the numbers have in common. This will make a lot more sense as we go through our example. Let's jump into our example where we have 27, 9, and 18. We will start by listing the factors of each and then find the greatest common factor. Let's start with the factors of 27. Now, I would suggest always starting with the factors of 1 and the number itself, because we know 1 times that number will equal that number itself. We can think of factors in terms of pairs. 1 times 27 equals 27, or we can divide 27 by those factors evenly, however you want to think about it. So I'm going to write... 1 and 27 with a gap in between for the other factors. That way we can write the factors in order. Now we need to list the other factors of 27. So let's think about what else goes into 27, so to speak. Think about multiplication facts, division facts, and we can work our way up from 1. So there are different strategies and ways to work through this. The next factors of 27 are 3 and 9. 3 times 9 equals 27. So 3 and 9 are factors of 27. And that's actually it for the factors of 27. You can always think about other possible factors if you're unsure if you're done. For example, 2, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But we have them all. 1, 3, 9, and 27. And like I mentioned earlier, we can also think of these factors in terms of division. We can divide 27 evenly by all of these factors. Now, one thing I do want to mention about factors and writing out factors lists is that you will get a lot better the more you do. Everything from writing and recognizing factors to the spacing of your lists. So something to keep in mind. Let's move on to the factors of 9. And we can start with 1 and 9. Now we need to think of other factors of 9. Well, 3 times 3 equals 9, so 3 is a factor of 9. And although 3 times 3 equals 9, we just need to put 3 once there as far as the list of factors. Lastly, let's list the factors of 18. We can start with 1 and 18. Next, we have 2 and 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. So 2 and 9 are factors of 18. And then lastly, we have 3 and 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. So 3 and 6 are factors of 18. And that's it for the factors of 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now that we have all of the factors listed for our numbers, we need to look for common factors, so factors they share. And then specifically, we need to look for the greatest common factor, so the greatest factor in value that they all share, that they all have in common. So 1 is going to be a common factor. 3 is going to be a common factor. 
And then nine is going to be a common factor. So there are three common factors between these numbers. Now the greatest common factor is going to be nine. So over to the right, I'll write the GCF, which stands for the greatest common factor, equals nine. So the greatest common factor of these three numbers, 27, nine, and 18, is nine. So there you have it. There's how to find the greatest common factor of three numbers. If you need another example, I dropped the link to part two down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.